White House bank downgrades adding to some worries on Wall Street. The Dow falling as much as 466 points at one point during the day. While off those lows now, the volatility is here. The VIX hitting its highest level since May. For more on the markets, let's bring in Jeremy Bryan, senior portfolio manager with Gradient Investments. And Mike Santoli joins us in the discussion as well. Jeremy, let me begin with you. How important is this bank downgrade in the overall market picture? Is it a one-day story? Obviously, it wiped out all of yesterday's uh, or most of yesterday's 400-plus point gains for the Dow. Yeah, uh, where we really needed this was March 10th. We didn't need it now. Um, to be completely honest with you, I don't think this is a long-term, long-tailed story unless things are getting incrementally worse than what we heard in earnings. Because we've gone through all this analysis at this point now. We know what deposits look like. They're not falling off a cliff, even though they're not paying them a whole heck of a lot. So we know that. We know capital ratios are still fine. And the earnings estimates have come down pretty precipitously for these banks. And so for them to say they're eroding income and all that, well, we've already somewhat a priced it in and also it's in the estimates as well. So I just don't see this as really a long tailed type of downslide for the market based upon this Moody's downgrade, unless something incremental comes out that we just didn't see from here. Mike, how about you? Is this a one day story or something more? Probably the Moody's action is a one day story, but it does reconcentrate attention on probably the chronic issues in the banking sector, which are really macro issues. Do they have stale valuations on commercial real estate that are going to show up down the road? Is there going to be a pinch in general on credit creation uh, as they have funding and earnings pressures? I think that's one element of it. To me, the bigger picture story, and this started three or four weeks ago, I think uh, it started to become clear that the market had taken an awful lot of credit up front for we're going to have an economic soft landing. We're going to have a benign macro scenario for a while. The Fed is just about done. Earnings are troughing in the second quarter. They're coming back. All that still looks like it's in place. It's just that the market already kind of arrived at that moment. So anything that disturbs the happy uh, picture is, is going to have a result in the seasonally weak period of the year like, uh, like August. So to me, it feels like normal choppiness. The s and is exactly where it was three and a half weeks ago when we got to that overbought point and it started to hear people say, maybe it's enough for now. So, Jeremy, uh, what kinds of, of stocks do you think? Let's, let's set aside the regional banks, the mid-sized banks uh, for now. Where do you think the targets of opportunity are in the market? Yeah, what we've been looking at a lot lately is fundamental momentum that maybe the stock momentum hasn't quite caught up to yet, um, where earnings estimates are stable to growing. And honestly, in the stocks haven't reached their 52 week highs yet and valuations are relatively cheap. So we're looking for areas outside of where, hey, the magnificent seven that have had really substantial runs here. We're looking for areas outside of that and as maybe the next leg of growth going forward. And so companies like United Healthcare fit that bill, Air Products fits that bill, and MetLife fit that bill. What is the common tying bind, even though these are very different businesses, is that their momentum from a fundamental perspective, what they're doing on an earnings perspective, what they're talking about in their commentary, was all relatively positive, and it looks like they're an accelerating profile. Now, the stocks have rallied here a little bit, but we still think there's quite a ways to go for all three of these names. And actually, we just bought Met a day ago, and, and we really think that once we look through their earnings, that a lot of the fundamental operations there are pretty interesting. 